Hello, everyone. Thank you, Ms. Loveless. My name is Jennifer, and I am greatly honored to share with you today how Anson County Early College changed my life and led me to become a leader. Super Bowl winning coach Vince Lombardi once said, leaders aren't born, they are made. And there is no doubt in my mind that being at Early College made me the person that I am today. Before entering the Early College, I was a slightly above average student and I was extremely shy and introverted. In fact, that was one of the reasons I wanted to go as well as my parents. They wanted me to go because we knew it was a smaller school and fewer teachers, and they felt I would not be as overwhelmed in this smaller setting. Even so, I entered the new school as a freshman with much trepidation and insecurity. I remember thinking, I'm from middle school. I don't know anything about being around high school students, let alone the teachers. I didn't know anything. Fortunately, those feelings of uncertainty began to change as the early college principal and my teachers began to work their magic. From the very first moment we arrived, my principal, Ms. Davis, set the atmosphere. She set the atmosphere that emphasized education combined with love, respect, and dignity that sh was shared by all students and the staff. The teachers, likewise, emphasized from the beginning the importance of being serious about learning while also establishing relationships filled with care and love. From that very first year as a freshman, I can remember like yesterday, as if she's sitting in this room right now, Ms. Taylor telling me, Jennifer, class, there's a time to play and a time to learn. But in my class, my dear, is a time in which we will learn. And learn we did. Ms. Taylor was phenomenal. <laughs> she told me and the rest of our class, you have control over your learning. This is your classroom. When you come in, be prepared to learn. She helped me tr improve my academics tremendously. She made it fun. She made it to where we wanted to write poetry. We wanted to read short stories. I can remember her reading all kind of literature and she had her sound effects, impersonations. She stood up straighter than, I, don't, I can't stand that shirt. She was older, but she always stood so straight and she would read and it would just be so fun. I will always remember the day we had to take our North Carolina end of course test in English, two, in English one, excuse me. She said with great enthusiasm after the scores had came back, and we got them the same day, so it wasn't go home worry, we got them the same day. So she said with great enthusiasm, Jennifer, you made it, F-O-U-R. And Jennifer, <laughs> It was nothing I did. You took home our end of course books, you studied, you did it. I simply gave you the material, but you did this. Miss <laughs> Taylor impacted my life dramatically that first year. Not only did she make English fun, but she also helped me begin to trust myself as a learner and to realize that I could be a good student. She pushed, pushed her love for English onto me, and as a result, I developed the idea of becoming a teacher just like her, and I too felt that I could touch the children of tomorrow. In addition to Ms. Taylor, she wasn't the only teacher that year. I have so many other teachers in the crowd that helped me like her. Upon entrance to each classroom, they always had a warm smile, they engaged our minds, and they posted ELC questions that I got tired of but learned to love. <laughs> they gave us many types of activities and projects that made us think. For example, in history class, I was always questioned on many different events, asking a lot of stuff about history, which I love English, so I can't tell you much. But <laughs> And I loved it because we got to use technology, and that, to me, piqued my interest in learning the course material for the week. In math, I didn't like math, but now I love it because we had to apply each lesson to our everyday life, which gave us a reason, which gave us kind of like, 
it was wanting to mo know more. I wanted to know, well, when I go to a bank, this is what I do. And in math, we learned every day something that would help us, whether we were just riding down the street, how many miles to get here, how, many, how much money to transfer there. It helped me. And once, I'll never forget, in geometry, I had to go home, apply a lesson um, about perimeter to my everyday life. Well, as you know, I'm not a construction worker. I, <laughs> I haven't gone to school to work on anything, but after that project, I felt like a construction worker. I got my stepdad, we got the yardstick, and boy, did we have fun, and I got an A on it. <laughs> Even when I was taking community college courses, ACEC -E teachers and staff and my principal, they were still there for me. I can remember when I was taking a college English class, I got a rough draft of this paper and I had gigantic red X marks. I didn't know what happened to my paper. But I ran over to ACEC and my English teachers, they gave me insightful information on how to rewrite the essay. They encouraged me greatly, assuring me that I could write an A paper and that, that I would do wonderful in the college class. I used each suggestion, resubmitted the paper to the college instructor, and prayed for mercy. <laughs> How happy I was when I actually did make an A on that paper. All the teachers at ACEC have always been there. I didn't know who was happier, me or all the teachers, when I came out with an A. And I know now, whether I'm in their class or not, I can be at Wingate, which is not far from the school. If I need them, they'll still be there. From the efforts and support of these aunts and early college teachers and staff and principal, I improved in my academics. Before entering my college classes at the community college, I actually struggled with my CPT test, which is a college placement test. But I eventually mastered it. And with the excellent instruction and nurturing attention of ACEC teachers, along with the caring attitudes of upperclassmen, I gradually became more and more confident. As a result, today I have been accepted into 11 universities and I have received a plethora of scholarships, including the Golden Leaf Annual Scholarship, Hornwood Scholarship, Anson Democratic Party Scholarship, Wingate's Presidential Scholarship, along with the Believe in the Bulldog video contest, a Waysboro Rotary Scholarship, and the Alpha Pi Chi Scholarship. Thank you. In addition to improving my academics, my ACEC family also helped me to improve in social as well as leadership skills. In the 10th grade, I performed community service at an uh, elementary school right down the road from our school, Peachland Poulton School, and I greatly enjoyed working with the teachers. I served at a, as a student tutor. I read to small groups of students. I worked one-on-one -on -one with students who were struggling in either reading or math. I graded papers. I put, it, I put up bulletin boards. I was then beginning to realize I do have what it takes. I can be a teacher. I can touch the young minds of tomorrow. And then I went on to 11th grade. I began to write short stories. I used what Miss Taylor taught me, and I, then, I found it in the newspaper, which was exciting to me. I began to tutor for early college. I'm now known as the person that sits in the commons area, but when they see me, they know I have a book and I have a word of encouragement. In my senior, now, well, in my senior year, I volunteered to assist teachers with tutoring, struggle, with students struggling. My graduation project was actually on teaching styles. And here, I went out to our regular high school, and I taught two English classes at the regular high school. This addressed the various styles of teaching through both collaborative and verbal learning. I was very nervous when I went out, but when I saw how the students, they were encouraged by what I had to say, they were involved, they let me know, wow, you make learning fun. I then began to realize, I'm learning a lot, I can do this too. And early college has helped because it has provided job shadowing, it has provided internship experiences, 
It has allowed me to explore potential career fields and develop other skills that I may need for my career. I participated actively in community service thanks to our coordinator. I accumulated 106.5 hours and I did receive my medallion this year. In the midst of all these amazing experiences, I realized that I changed quite a bit from the withdrawn introvert who entered early college as a freshman. I had grown to enjoy people and I looked and they really enjoyed me. This year, I was selected by the student body and I think a few teachers as the 2013 ACEC prom queen. And I was honored, thank you. And I was honored to be selected by upperclassmen to receive the first Latavia Spirit Award at ACEC, which is given to a person who displays the qualities of a leader. There is no doubt that I have grown tremendously as a person, as a student, and as a leader, and I give the credit to God for placing such loving parents, Wanda and Gerald Jones, as well as my Anson County Early College family in my life. All of my teachers know me like the back of my hand, and I think I kind of know them too, like the back of their hand. <laughs> they always cared, and they're always willing to help. And they, I know without a doubt, will be there whenever I need them. The loyalty and dedication at early college increased my hunger to not only learn more while in school, but also one day to follow in their footsteps. This fall, I will enter into Wingate University to major in English and Education with a minor in Sociology. My goal is to teach English at the secondary level and develop within my own students the love of the written and spoken word that I have acquired at the early college. I want to touch the minds, souls, and hearts as mine have been touched at early college. I want to help make them leaders as Anson Early College has made me. To all of you today, teachers, principals, staff, everyone, I say thank you. North Carolina New Schools for being the leaders that you are in education, innovation, and excellence. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be here. Thank you for allowing me to speak. Thank you for your patience. And I thank you because of early college Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you.